Yes, it's time now for Mark Meets and this evening Sir Stephen Timms, the Labour Member of Parliament for East Ham in London. He served under Tony Blair and Gordon Brown in several key roles, including Chief Secretary to the Treasury. In May 2010, he survived an attempted murder by Islamic terrorist Roshirana Chowdhury, who stabbed him twice in the abdomen at his constituency surgery. She was convicted of attempted murder and sentenced to life imprisonment. Stephen Timms served on the official opposition front bench as Shadow Minister for Employment and Shadow Secretary of State for Work and Pensions. In 2021, the then Prime Minister Boris Johnson appointed Timms as the UK's trade envoy to Switzerland and Liechtenstein. And he was knighted in the 2022 Birthday Honours for Political and Public Service. Sir Stephen Timms, welcome to Mark Dolan tonight. Thank you for uh, inviting me. Lovely to have you on the programme. My first night of the weekend, um, you were in the House of Commons in the years leading up to the new Labour landslide of 97. I think you entered the House in 94. Is there a similar mood optimism in the party right now? Well, there certainly is a good deal of optimism, yes, particularly following the local election results of earlier this month. I'm not sure there's quite the sort of euphoria that there was in the run up to 97. I think this time it's a, a more of a kind of steady progress building up from the terrible position we found ourselves in after the, the 2019 election, worst election result we'd had since the 1930s. Uh, but we're making very substantial progress and the, the local council results were a really encouraging reflection of that. Indeed. Now, you served under Tony Blair, a divisive but formidable operator. How do you rate Keir Starmer, Sir Stephen? Well, I, I think Keir's doing a great job. Um, as I say, he had a mountain to climb uh, when he became party leader soon after the 2019 election. And we are now well on our way to getting over that mountain. Um, he's, he's not the same as Tony Blair. He's uh, a, a different character. Uh, Tony Blair had a very remarkable charisma. Um, but, you know, I think there, there are benefits to Keir's steady, reliable approach. And I think it's going to put us in good stead when the general election comes along. Although, Sir Stephen, are you fed up with Keir Starmer's flip-flops, uh, whether it's changing his mind about nationalising industries, campaigning for Jeremy Corbyn to be prime minister, or previously wanting to have a referendum, a second referendum on Brexit? Now he's loving Brexit. That's not a great message for the, uh, for the voters, is it, that this guy can't make his mind up? No, I, I think, I mean, that's a, a sort of classic, conservative jibe, which I don't think has any substance at all. I mean, we I'm all not a conservative. We all campaigned for... It's what my viewers we, and we listeners think, Sir Stephen. We, we, all, we, all, we all campaigned for Jeremy Corbyn to be Prime Minister because we were campaigning for the Labour Party. And Keir Starmer did that uh, along with the, the, the rest of us. Now, I, I think Keir is setting out uh, uh, in a very impressive way to rebuild confidence in our party to deal with some of the very serious problems that we had uh, in the wake of the 2019 election and the result of what had happened in the, in the lead up to that. And step by step, we are getting where we need to be. And I, I'm very encouraged by it. And, I, you know, I, as I said, I think that the, the local council elections this month were a very encouraging reflection of the progress that Keir has, has made. Now, Sir Stephen, you can be frank with me. You're on the back benches. You're off record. Um, you were Chief Secretary to the Treasury, so you know how to crunch the numbers. Can Britain really afford a Labour government? If there's no money, what's the point in having a Labour government? Well, we need a Labour government. Um, uh, I mean, the, what is often suggested that if, is that if you get a, a Labour government, then you'll run into economic problems. In fact, the record, of course, is different to that. Uh, when uh, the, 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 the rule at the time was that uh, national debt was 40% of, of GDP. 
uh, and now, of course, it's well over to twice that. But worse than that, we had the extraordinary Liz Truss premiership when we did get a really serious economic crisis manufactured by the then government, the Prime Minister and the Chancellor. Now, that's the kind of thing that people think fear would happen with the Labour government. Actually, it never happens with the Labour government. It did happen with the Conservative government. The Conservative Party uh, chose Liz Truss to be its leader, and she went about, frankly, taking uh, an axe to the economy, to stability, and we saw the, the, the massive problems that resulted that Bank of England had to step in to avert an economic crisis. So yeah. we've had enough yeah. of that. We, we, want, we want to get rid of okay. the people who did that to us, and we want a, a, a good economic team, Keir Starmer, Rachel Reeves, running the economy in a sound way in the future. Maybe with a return uh, for Sir Stephen Timms, who knows? Um, briefly, if you can, Sir Stephen, um, are you over the terrible trauma of your attempted murder in 2010? Uh, this woman set upon you at a constituency surgery. It's the most awful attack. Uh, are you better and, 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 and do you feel like you've been able to process what happened to you? Um, I'm well, thank you. Um, I did picking up. Um, but uh, the, the, the Royal London Hospital did a, a, a very good job. You know, it was two or three months before I was able to be fully back uh, working as as normal. But that was 13 years ago now, and I'm pleased to say that I'm uh, in, in in good shape. And um, yeah, I, I I don't think I have any uh, lasting. Uh, problems arising from what was a very unpleasant experience. Well, look, more power to you. It's great to have you on the show. I do hope we get to speak again soon. My thanks to Sir Stephen Timms.